The Reed Ferroviária Federal, Sociedade Anónima RFFSA, Portuguese, Reed Ferroviária Federal SA, Federal Railroad Network was the state-owned national railway company of Brazil created from Brazilian federal law hash 3.115 on March 16, 1957, after several railroads were nationalized by the Brazilian government. However, the railroad did not take full effect until September 30, 1957. The RFFSA linked 42 railways together both on documents and actual railroads, creating a regional system composed of 22 railroads. The goal of the RFFSA was to promote and advance the railroad sector of Brazil, creating a north-south-east-west rail network in all five regions of Brazil. But it failed and the RFFSA only served four of the five regions with a north-south rail network win 19 units of the Federation of Brazil. By 1999, the railroad was liquidated and privatized, with the last liquidations occurring in 2007. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Federal Authority. According to Article 7 of Law Hash 3.115, which created the RFFSA, the company was given the following powers for the operation of the railroads. The company must manage, operate, maintain, refurbish, expand, improve, and maintain traffic on the railways it built. Introduce at face value bearer bonds of its own issue or the issue of the companies that will be organized with a limit of two for paid in capital, with or without a guarantee from the Treasury. Subscription of capital from companies under its control and the consent to grant them loans or guarantees. Organize and supervise the management of the companies under its control, as well as its methods and procedures for operation under contract to provide services to guarantee these companies technical assistance, accounting, legal, and administrative services. Propose revisions and modifications of tariffs, as necessary, to the Departamento Nacional de Estradas de Ferro who would review the proposals and submit the final approval to the Ministro da Viacau e Obras Públicas. Create a business plan and approve the budgets of the companies under its control, monitoring their respective operations. Restructure staffing quarters of personnel according to the needs of service and regional standards of living set on a fixed number in the company's organization, remuneration, rights and duties. Conduct all the works of studies and construction of railroads which have been approved by the UNIAO for which they are provided resources. The following powers were given to the RFFSA from Law Hash 6.171 in 1974. Monitor the railway services throughout the country. Promote a coordination of studies and tariff costs for general rail transport. Create a unification and standardization of the Brazilian railway system. Promote a qualitative and quantitative evaluation of the national railway system. Conduct research relating to the improvement of rail activities in the country. Enforce the railway into the Plano Nacional de Viacau. Unification of railways The 22 railways that composed the RFFSA were mostly nationalized by the Brazilian government which chose to merge them administratively. The following railways were Estrada de Ferro Madeira Mamore Estrada de Ferro de Briganca Estrada de Ferro São Luís Teresina, Estrada de Ferro Central do Piauí, Reed de Viacau Sirens, Estrada de Ferro Massoro Souza, Estrada de Ferro Sampaio Correia, 
Reed Ferroviaria do Nordeste, Viacau Feria Federal do Leste Brasileiro, Estrada de Ferro Bahia Minas, Estrada de Ferro Leopoldina, Estrada de Ferro Central do Brasil, Reed Minera de Viacau, Estrada de Ferro Goiás, Estrada de Ferro Santos Ajundiai Estrada de Ferro Noroeste do Brasil Reed de Viacau Parana Santa Catarina Estrada de Ferro Dona Teresa Cristina The following railroads were later merged into the RFFSA. Estrada de Ferro Ilhaeus added in 1959 after a two-year legal battle between the English owners and the government of Brazil. Estrada de Ferro Nazaré added in 1968 for unknown circumstances even though the railroad was already out of service. Estrada de Ferro Santa Catarina and the Viacau Feria do Rio Grande do Sul PT, Viacau Feria do Rio Grande do Sul originally leased to the RFFSA, later merged into the RFFSA. Estrada de Ferro Tocantins remained under a special regime until 1974, when it was abolished. The railroad was merged away into the RFFSA that same year. Topic: <laughs> Privatization and liquidation. Privatization was one of the alternatives for investments to return in railroads. The government of the PSDB gave the public rail lines access to transport cargo. However, most of the railroad companies were not interested in seeing a transport of passengers, as the service was nearly extinct. Between 1996 and 1998, over 22,000 kilometers of rail lines in Brazil, 73% of the entire state rail system, were being transferred to various private organizations, which signed 30-year concessions to operate the railroad systems. The organized private railroad companies will invest $2.1 billion within the 30-year concession as well as increase the volume of traffic, modernize, and expand their railroad systems. The main goal of privatizing the RFFSA and FEPASA was to end the financial and labor troubles of the railroads, mainly due to a lack of investment by Brazil from the 1980s and the 1990s. On December 9, 1999, the liquidation of the Ferrovia Paulista S.A. FEPA SA began as a merger to the RFFSA, and then as an auction in the form of a concession for 20 years. Faraban was the winner, which has an option to renew the 20-year concession. However, the control was split between America Latina Logistica and Brazil Ferrovias. On December 17, 1999, the liquidation of the RFFSA began by the general meeting of shareholders. By May 31, 2007, the liquidation was complete, becoming Brazilian federal law hash 11.483. Paint schemes From the first appearance of diesel locomotives in 1957 to the adoption of the Sego system in 1983, the standard colors of the RFFSA were cadmium red accented with two lemon yellow stripes and black undercarriage. Depending on the RFFSA subsidiary that existed, the lower stripe was widened to accommodate the subsidiary's reporting marks. From 1983 until 1996, the RFFSA removed all subsidiary markings and applied the locomotive's number in the same position. In 1993, the RFFSA held a contest celebrating the presence of diesel traction in Brazil. 
This contest created a new paint scheme for its locomotives in recognition of the development of Brazil's railway system from the use of diesel locomotives. Held at the De Pedro II railway station in Rio de Janeiro, the contest became a rail festival as it was open to the public with a plethora of support from various sectors of the RFFSA, professional associations, and the railroad's customers. To participate in this contest, the only requirement was a display board showcasing the new paint scheme design by the participant. The locomotive model chosen as the template for the new paint scheme design was an Evisa GT22CUM1. When the winning design was selected from the contest, an actual GT22CUM1 would receive the paint scheme. On December 6, 1993, Paulo H. S. Cavallari from Juiz de Fora was declared the winner of the new paint scheme out of 97 participants. Cavallari was not the first place winner but was third. RFFSA President Renato Almeida chose Cavallari's ash gray and lemon yellow design based on the factors of a good way to promote the company system-wide and the simplicity of cost-saving graphics, paint for easy application. Shortly before an actual GT22CUM1 was to receive the new paint scheme, the RFFSA management did a final adjustment to the design where a large RFFSA logo was to be applied along the locomotive's carbody instead of Cavallari's fading strokes version. On March 2, 1994, Evisa GT 22 CUM 1 No. 4605 4L emerged from the workshops of Ponta Grossa with Cavallari's modified scheme. The locomotive was named Curitiba in honor of the city where the new paint scheme was put into effect on March 1, 1994. Shortly after the 4605 4L was released, any locomotive scheduled for maintenance was to receive the new scheme. Depending on various reasons from the workshops, the locomotives are permitted to be named, with the paint scheme known to railfans as FASE2. It was short lived from 1993 to 1996. Although visibility increased from far distances with the yellow, it was flawed with easily becoming dirty after a few months. By late 1995 and into 1996, the RFFSA was heavily in debt to clean or paint a locomotive that most of the grime left the locomotives black. In contrast to Cavallari's scheme being selected, the actual winner who won first but was not the selected scheme was Ike Pereira de Souza, an architect from the Department of Auto Graphics of the RFFSA. He won a cash prize of 200,000 cruzeros. The Sego system The SIGO was a system implemented in 1983 to standardize the numbering system of railway vehicles in Brazil. Each piece of rolling stock is allocated a six-digit number, a check digit, and a letter to indicate its allocation. When the RFFSA began to repaint its locomotives of both metric and Irish gauges in ash grey and lemon yellow 1994 the numbers were relocated towards the radiator section of the locomotive. In some cases, the locomotives were baptized with names, municipalities, states, or cities of there they respectively operated. With locomotives, the first two digits are hidden, and used only on documents, e.g. 905212 7F. 90 represents RFFSA locomotive only written in documents. 5212 is the road number of the locomotive. Minus 7 is the check digit. F is the letter code for where the locomotive is located the F indicates, Juiz de Fora, Sector SR3. Topic. 
Topic: Locomotives. Click on image to enlarge. Topic: Present day Brazilian railway companies. América Latina Logística S.A. All Ex Ferrovia Sul Atlantico FSA gauges 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in and 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in FERRONORTE Companhia Ferroviaria do Nordeste, CFN, controlled by Transnordestina Logistica SA gauge, 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Companhia Brasileira de Trens Urbanos, CBTU, controlled by Ministry of Cities and Ministry of Transports, gauges, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in commuter metropolitan services operating in Belo Horizonte, Recife, João Pessoa, and Teresina cities, also have minoritary control in some state operations under Superintendencia de Trens Urbanos Stu, in Fortaleza and other cities Companhia Paulista de Trens Metropolitanos, CPTM, commuter services in São Paulo city and suburbs, controlled by the state of São Paulo, gauges, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in, on the two former Sorocabana lines 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in, Concessionaria de Transporte Ferroviario S.A. Supervia, commuter services in Rio de Janeiro city and suburbs, gauges, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in, on the former Estrada de Ferro Lepoldina 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in, Impresa de Trens Urbanos de Porto Alegre, TRENSURB, commuter services in Porto Alegre, RS and suburbs, gauge, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in Estrada de Ferro do Amapa from 1953 to 2006 controlled by Impresa Industria e Comercio de Minerio S.A. ICOMI, since then by MMX Minerasao e Metallicos S.A. MMX, this is one of two Brazilian railways with 1,435 mm gauge, the other being Line 5 of São Paulo Metro. Estrada de Ferro Carajas, EFC, controlled by Companhia Vale do Rio Doce CVRD gauge, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in Estrada de Ferro Campos do Jordão, EFCJ, controlled by the Department of Tourism of the State of São Paulo, gauge, 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Estrada de Ferro Jari, EFJ, gauge, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in Estrada de Ferro Trombetas, EFT, controlled by Manerasao Rio do Norte, gauge, 1,000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Estrada de Ferro Vitoria Aminos, EFVM, controlled by Companhia Vale do Rio Doce CVRD, gauge, 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Ferrovia Centro Atlantica SAFCA, controlled by Companhia Vale do Rio Doce CVRD, gauge, 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Ferrovias Bandeirantes, FERROBAN, formerly controlled by Brazil Ferrovias, then incorporated by all Sorocabana Network and FCA Mogiana Network gauges, 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in Mogiana and Sorocabana Networks and 1600 mm 5 feet 3 in Paulista and Araraquarense Networks. Ferrovia Norte Sul, FNS, controlled by Companhia Vale do Rio Doce CVRD, gauge, 1,600 mm 5 feet 3 in 
Ferrovia Norte Brasil, FERRONORTE, formerly controlled by Brazil Ferrovias, then incorporated by all, gauge, 1,600 mm, 5 feet 3 in. Ferrovia Novoeste Sanovoeste, formerly controlled by Brazil Ferrovias, then incorporated by all, gauge, 1,000 mm, 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in. Ferrovia Parana Oeste, FERROPAR, also known as FERROESTE. Ferrovia Teresa Cristina SAFTC, gauge, 1000 mm, 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in. Grupo Brasil Ferrovias SA, incorporated by all, gauge, 1000 mm, 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in, and 1600 mm, 5 feet 3 in. Mrs. Logistica SA. Mrs. Gauge, 1,600 mm, 5 feet 3 in. Tramway Bertioga, Atatinga, controlled by the state of São Paulo's Port Authority Companhia Doca do Estado de São Paulo CODESP, more a local railway than an actual tramway, gauge, 800 mm, 2 feet 7 and a half in. Topic: Preservation Groups. Associação Brasileira de Preservação Ferroviária (ABPF). Topic: See also. History of rail transport in Brazil.